way or that way. I was lost in the desert. There was no one around me. I can't see any signs, any flags, except for my teacher. But he was lost too. So who else can help me? The temperature was so hot that it could boil an egg on the ground. Then I remember my grandpa's words before the trek. He said, Baba, I only did 25 kilometers when I was in the army. You're only 12, and you want to do 70 kilometers? Are you crazy? And all my siblings are saying, useless. This desert track is useless. You ought to be learning and getting into a good middle school. Why are you walking in a desert? What I was thinking about was, I should be sitting in air conditioning, and life would be so comfortable. But now, I'm standing in the desert and then trying to survive. Of course, since I'm standing right here, of course, I'm not boiled already. I survived. So you might also think that this experience is useless, like all my relatives. However, I found it to be one of the most useful experiences I had in these two years. During the summer when I was 12, I learned about the story of John Tien's mission to the Western regions. I was really fascinated. I wanted to go and explore the Silk Road and the western places of China. That summer, the temperature of the ground surface reached 70 degrees Celsius, which is exactly the temperature you need to boil an egg. Get, just guess how much watermelon we ate in only three days. 2,000 kilograms. And everyone was eating the watermelons with the watermelon seeds. So you may wonder, why would I call it one of the most useful experiences I had in these two years? Because it's a life-saving experience for me. I found out that I can save myself, even in these worst circumstances. And then when I came back, swimming training? Not hard at all. Sports meet? Not challenging. And even study becomes only a piece of cake comparing to this experience. So if I ask you again, is this experience useless or useful? I guess you'll also say it is very useful. A lot of people are judging, are judging whether a thing is useless or useful. Study for kindergarten. Our parents let us explore what we want. But as we're getting older and older, a lot of interests that are not related to the tests are abandoned gradually. It seems like getting into a good university becomes the goal of our life, and everything that's not related to this goal are forbidden. One of my friends is a really good example. He doesn't even know the password of his phone. All he can do is, Siri, please call my mom. But he really likes music, and to study different kinds of music. But his mom thinks that, no, it's not related to the test, so you cannot even listen to music anymore. But well, as a kid, we can always find ways to do something, even if our parents don't allow. So he still finds ways to listen to music, but he spends all his time trying to avoid his mom. So his studies are actually getting worse. Is music really useless to him? I doubt it. I think a lot of you know about, this, about a Thailand football team trapped in a cave. To save them, it requires the divers to know how to do extreme pool dive. There are only 12 people in this world who know this technique. However, in order to save them, it also requires the divers to know how to give medical treatment. But almost every diver don't know how to give medical treatment, and every doctor don't know how to dive. However, there's one person, a doctor from Australia, who is one part of the 12 people who know this technique. 
So he is able to save these 13 teenagers' life. Diving is just an interest for him, and it seems not related to his job doctor at all. But when he saves these 13 teenagers' life, nobody would say that it is useless. It becomes so useful that nobody has ever imagined. I have done volunteering work since I was from grade six, which is to teach small kids from low-income families English. I taught a lot of different students, but there was one kid, a, a fourth grader, a boy. He was the most naughty boy I've ever taught. He barely listens in all the classes. All he did was to talk about himself, the schools, his teachers, his friends, but never about the classes. I, almost, I always get very furious every time he talks about himself, because he came to learn, not to talk. But no matter how angry I was, he just kept on talking. Then one time, I was complaining to the person in charge. I expressed how angry I am, and I said, no, I don't want to teach him anymore. Then she started to talk me about this little boy. His parents were always working, and they had no time to spend with this little boy. But what a little boy needs the most is not money or toys. He needs a company from his parents. And that's why he came to our program. He found out that the volunteers here can actually hear his stories and be his listener. I started to realize that we were his only listener. And maybe to him, being a listener is better than being an English teacher. So I started to communicate with him. I listened to his stories. And I found out very surprisingly that he is willing to learn in classes. I used to think that teaching this little boy is completely useless because he is not learning anything in classes. But I now found out that this is so useful. I realized how important communication is. Because without communication, I wouldn't have listened to this little boy and understand him. This realization helped me so much. I'm the chairman of the student union in my school. With communicating, I can make sure I understand the, the teachers and others can understand me much better. I would never have realized that without the experience of teaching this little boy. So isn't it so useful? I know a lot of parents and children are, are thinking about how do we make our life better? But when I was teaching that little boy, I was thinking about how do I make his life better? By doing these little things doesn't really mean a lot to me, but it means so much to that little boy. By studying and learning all the time, we might go into a very good university. But we should also learn other qualities, for example, caring about others. There are definitely some occasions in a child's life that teaches him or her how important to care about others is. And for me, this occasion is when I decided to accompany that little boy instead of only teaching him. And this also made me think of, how do I maybe make a little change to the world, because I realized I can make a little change in another person's life. I would never have learned that through the classrooms. We should definitely learn some important qualities. For example, communication, caring about others, and sympathy. We can only learn these things through these useless things. We're definitely going to meet a lot of challenges in our life when we're growing up. The sooner we can meet these challenges, the faster we can learn and grow up, which will be better for us. Although there are some differences between people when we are born, the main differences are because of the experiences when we're growing up. So many people look down on things because they seem to be useless comparing to the tests. However, as I have experienced so much real challenges in life, I found out from time to time, these things that people seem 
that are useless, I found them to be so useful. Thank you.